David Livingston Ebiru, are you confirming to this committee that you bribed board members with 100 million shillings? I was asked through the, by the chair and I must uh, do the needful to cool down what is going on. And you gave them 100 million shillings? Yes, sir. Where did you... There was a drama at Parliament as the UNBS officials continued to lay allegations of bribery and corruption against each other before the Kosase Committee. Executive Director, Uganda National Bill of Standards, David Livingstone Ebiru, accuses his board members of soliciting 100 million bribe from him to protect him from being sacked. And you gave them 100 million shillings? Yes, sir. Where did you get the 100 million shillings from? I borrowed the money. So this was personal money? Yes, sir. And you handed it over to who? Uh, through uh, the representative of the chairman members here, Mr. Mr. Omar, he came to my office and picked it from my office. Was it cash? It was in what? Cash. Cash. In a bag? In what exactly? In a bag. Okay, so just to understand again properly, so you're saying you borrowed this money and uh, you're giving it to them for what? To cool down what exactly? Let's According to Ebiru, the IGG and the line minister had recommended to the board to terminate his contract on grounds of not being qualified for the position of the managing director. Stole, you see this, read it, put it back. And that happened at a restaurant called Panamera in, uh, in opposite Lolo. Kampala Parents. It's opposite Kampala Aburu. Parents. Because the chairman residence is in Aburu, so he called me there. Come urgently. This is the issue. To, uh, to cool this, do the needful. The board members who were also present in an interface with Kosase denied the allegations of the bribe claim. Mr. Omar. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Did you receive 100 million shillings from Mr. Ebiru? Definitely not, Mr. Chairman. The first time I came into contact with that information was from a gentleman called Ronald, who works for the Ministry of Trade. He's in internal security, who brought it to my attention via a WhatsApp. In fact, I'm looking for the WhatsApp now. Who told me, you have to watch out. The ED is spoiling your name. He's claiming that he gave you people 100. Actually, he said the money was actually given to my colleague. These revelations left the members of parliament sitting on Kosase committee in shock, prompting the committee members led by Joel Senyonyi to hand over the MD and the accused board members to CID for further investigations. Philip Aguta for UBC News at parliament. Are here. Sorry? How many board members are here? Let's see by show of hands. 